Hello everyone, welcome to another class of current electricity and basically in this video we're gonna solve uh, a creative questions and you know that previously uh, I have explained uh, Ohm's law electric circuit and some symbols how to draw electric circuit and then uh, the basic of Ohm's law. You know that uh, yeah, it, according to the Ohm's law, the equations is I is equal to V divided by R. So we know these things actually. So uh, if any sort of creative questions comes like a way that we need to use this principle and to learn what is the series connections, what is parallel connections and how to uh, find the value of equivalent resistance. This is important. So let's see. Uh, this too easy uh, type of uh, circuit is given there which is actually a 2 4 resistance is given in figure 1 circuit and in figure 2 circuit 3 resistance are there and among these 3 resistance the value of R is not given right now the question is that student of English version and even Carrot College you know that from this chapter when the sort of like creative questions I uh, see it must be um, some sort of like you need to know first that what is the equivalent resistance and how to think it of. So this is an easy type of questions you can consider it level 1 and then we'll uh, go on to level 2 and level 3 also that where a lot of uh, mathematical um, solutions is required. Now you see in this figure it says that determine the flow of current figure 1. So this is a question number C and D. As you know that creative question is composed of four type of questions. So I'm not going to explain type A and B it's because this is easier thing. If you know the basic of the chapter, you can answer all these questions. So let's focus on the mathematical problems that determine the flow of current in figure one. So we need to find the value of I and we have been given the value of voltage and we need to find the value of resistance. That means we need to determine the equivalent resistance. Now you see that this is the voltage is given 12 volt. So this is actually V is given. And the flow of current in this direction will be divided into again two directions and then will come up in this way. So that is the complete circuit and we know that complete pathway of flow of current is electricity and this is circuit. So this circuit has four resistance. So first two are in series connection and the second two resistance are also in series connection and both of them are having parallel connections. So how to find it before going to explain you see this one is the first one. So as it is series, let's find out that the series 1, the equivalent resistance of series 1 is actually 2 plus 6, that is 8 ohm, RS1, because this is the series connection. And similarly, this is also series connection. So we can say this is RS2, which is 5 plus 3 ohm, and again, this is also 8 ohm. But the thing is, we need to find the equivalent resistance of whole circuit, so we need to find this is parallel connection. So here we need to find that Rp is actually 1 by Rs1 plus 1 by Rs2. And now if you see, it should be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8, and it is actually 8, 1 plus 1, 2, so this is 1 divided by 4. But this value is not appropriate because this is actually the opposite of Rp. So we need Rp. So simply the Rp is 4 divided by 1 and this is 4 ohm. This is important. So we've got the equivalent resistance of figure 1. This is 4 ohm. Now what is the value of I? That is because it was asked the flow of current in figure 1. So from this value i equal to v by r, we can find it simply that i equal v by r. So if I say that i equal v divided by r, so the value of v is 12 volt and the value of r, p is 
six, sorry, four ohm. So we got 12 by 4 is simply 3 ampere. So we got the first answer is 3 ampere, which is very easy. So simply, this is actually level 1, I mean the first primary level uh, solutions and probably some of you have already did it. So we got first series 1, series 2 and then we did the parallel connections and then you got simply the, the flow of current in figure 1 according to the data. Now you think in figure 2 what is given? It's given this one is R1, the value of R1 is 1 ohm and here it is 2 ohm but the value of R is not given. So the question is what value of R in figure 2 will make its flow of current double? double. So the question is it would be double and because it's getting double what is the value of R in figure 2? So we don't know the value of uh, uh, what should be the value of R2 if we want the double current through this circuit because we know we got that from C that the current of figure 1 is 3 ampere. So according to the rules uh, the, the expected the expected I prime should be what? I from figure 2 should be 3 ampere times 2 so it should be 6 ampere okay so we want 6 ampere and to get 6 ampere what should be the value of total r we know that i is equal v by r so if we want r we need to divide it by i so the voltage is given which is 12 volt of figure 2 and I, we got the expected I is 6 ampere. So if we got it 6 ampere, then total resistance should be 2 ohm. Total resistance should be 2 ohm. So we want 6 ampere current to be flowed in the figure 2. So the total resistance should be 2 ohm. Now, what should be the value of R? As these two are having parallel connection, we need to find 1 by Rp is actually 1 by R plus 1 by R2. Because these two, the these two ohm, I mean these two resistors are in parallel connection. So we are doing it. So simply, we don't know the value of R. We know that this is 2. So we got a simple calculations here. 2 plus R. And this is 1 by Rp. So we need the value of Rp is 2R divided by 2 plus R. And now you see that these equivalent resistance and these are having a series connection. And that should be the total resistance of 2 ohm. So these are 2 ohm should be this R1 plus this Rp because they are having a series connection. Now you see this R is actually 2 ohm. So 2 ohm R1 is 1 plus Rp is 2R divided by R plus 2. So from this equation we can find the value of R here. How? Let's see. 2 should be R plus 2 plus 2R and this is R plus 2. So uh, 2R plus 4 and this is 3R plus 2. So simply it should be 2R plus 2 equal 3R plus 2. No, it should be 2R plus 4 actually. So if it's 2R plus 4 then 3R minus 2R, so it would be together R equal to 2 ohm and this is the value of R that should be here in, in figure 2, so it is 2 ohm, okay? So if the value of R is 2 ohm, then 
the current of this figure 2 would be the double of figure 1. And this is simple calculation and, and this is level 1 and I hope those are watching right now this tutorial you can find and you can think that how to how to think about the circuit when there is multiple resistances given in parallel and series connection I hope it would be uh, easier for you to think at the next level so I'm coming up with the next tutorial and next creative solutions keep in touch with me and let me know that you really understand these mathematical solutions so take care stay well